Alright guys, today I'm here, uh, gonna bring you another video, just going over some pros and cons about, uh, owning a 1990 Miata, and, uh, in general if it's, uh, a good car for you. So this is my 1990 Mazda Miata. I bought this car for about $2,700 Canadian, which, fuck, that is in America, who knows. Um, I think that is one of the biggest pros about owning a 1990 Miata is, is the purchase cost itself is pretty cheap. You can get one of these in good shape for you know, not a lot of money. Uh, and then, you know, the cost of maintaining one isn't really a lot. You know, I spend most of my money on making it look better than fucking maintaining it because it's pretty cheap. Just regular oil changes and whatnot. So I think that's one of the biggest pros of owning one. Uh, another big pro is, again, off that reliability. This Miata here, you know, I've, like, had no problems with this car. You know, I had the soft top was fucking garbage, but, I mean, what are you going to do about it? You know, it's 26 years old, so obviously the paint's not perfect or anything, but, you know, nothing's ever blown up on me. Everything's good. Everything works fine. And Fuck it. She looks hot as shit, so what are you going to do about it? Yeah, parts for this car are, are everywhere, you know, online there's fucking mad spots for to go and shit, and like, there's a huge aftermarket following for these, and that's, I think, one of the bigger pros of owning one of these. Um, honestly, the only con really is, is size, so, I mean, if you carry around all your friends and they use you and you're a piece of shit, then fuck, man, that's pretty shitty. No, I'm just fucking playing. Uh, you know, it's good for fucking having your girlfriend out or whatever, you got a buddy you drive around with, it's fucking fine, but, you know... Once it comes to having a fucking more than one dude in your car, or more than one girl, who knows what the fuck you're doing, you know, then you got a problem. Uh, storage space is, I mean, it depends. If you're just putting, like, a bag, you know, I play sports, so a sports bag, every play, sport I play, all the bags fit fine, you know, groceries fit fine, you can fucking, everything's good in here, you know, I don't know, you just fucking, don't expect to carry a canoe, it's a Miata, right? Like, um... Yeah, you know, I think this is, overall is a great car, um, and I would recommend it to buy it as your first car. You know, all you have to have really is about three thousand dollars, and that's and get you a decent, you know, Miata. Uh, I'd stay away from second generations; they're ugly as shit and more expensive. First generation is the way to go. I mean, unless you got thirty grand to throw in a new one, then fuck that. So, you know, it's tons of aftermarket parts. You know, very cheap, very reliable. I would recommend a Miata to almost anyone who wants one. Hey, thanks for watching Northern Automotive. We appreciate you almost as much as donuts and strippers. Almost. I would say subscribe for more, but you already know that. Stay glazed.